Previous crypto king Sam Bankman Fried has been sentenced to up to 110 years in prison for fraud. What happens next when a billionaire's dreams crash into the stark walls of reality? FTX's founder, Sam Bankman Fried, once had the world at his fingertips. From testifying before Congress to featuring in Super Bowl commercials and even dreaming of a future presidential run, his meteoric rise in the crypto industry had been nothing short of spectacular. But as of Thursday, that dazzling ascent came crashing down as a New York jury convicted him of a massive fraud, costing investors and customers over $10 billion. How did one of the most promising stars in the cryptocurrency world find himself facing 110 years in prison? Bankman Fried's defense argued he never intended to defraud his clients, but evidence suggested otherwise. Was this all a simple misunderstanding or a calculated move to turn his customers' investments into his personal fortune? Up to $14 billion vanished, and as Assistant U.S. Attorney Danielle Sassoon noted, it appeared Bankman Fried had treated these accounts as his personal piggy bank. Did this scheme mirror the notorious Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scandal? A glance at the staggering figures might draw parallels. The scale of fraud perpetrated by Bankman Fried was reminiscent of the Madoff scandal that swindled investors out of about $20 billion. What caused this young visionary, who once lived in a luxurious $30 million apartment in the Bahamas dreaming of crypto domination, to falter? Revelations during the trial painted a picture of excess and hubris. From photographs of jet-set lifestyles with celebrities like Katy Perry to portrayals of a man engrossed in celebrity chasing, the narrative was clear. Was he a misunderstood genius or a fraudster? While prosecutors leaned heavily on testimonies from Bankman Fried's former associates, the most damning came from Caroline Ellison, his former girlfriend. Ellison depicted a man obsessed with gaining power, ready to defraud to fuel his dreams, even suggesting he believed he had a shot at becoming the U.S. president. Amidst the courtroom drama, an emotional testimony by Ellison painted the end of the cryptocurrency empire as a sigh of relief, a moment she no longer had to live a lie. Meanwhile, other key players in FTX revealed underhanded tactics Bankman Fried allegedly used, turning his once-respected empire into a house of cards. But why did it all collapse? Perhaps the crux of the downfall lay in Bankman Fried's unchecked communications. His numerous calls with influencers, journalists, and a fateful tweet promising safety for FTX's assets were his undoing. As customers scrambled to retrieve their funds, the empire crumbled and FTX filed for bankruptcy. In the court's closing arguments, Prosecutor Roos offered a stinging rebuke of Bankman Fried's wavering testimony, noting a stark difference in his demeanor during cross-examination. The tale of Sam Bankman Fried serves as a stark reminder of the fragile nature of trust in the financial world. When unchecked ambition meets reality, the aftermath can be devastating. As the crypto industry matures, let this be a lesson on the importance of integrity, transparency, and the age-old adage, not all that glitters is gold. Watch another video. Which Daily Blade video do you want to watch next?